What is going on guys? Welcome back to another one. Sorry about the wind. Hold up. Open this door and use this as a wind block. There we go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another one. I have not done some fishing in a while and while practicing social distancing I got a little bit bored so I decided hey let's go out to one of my favorite spring walleye spots and see if I can catch some walleyes or white bass or crappies they have some of those in there as well but today's main goal is to catch some walleyes take them back home and eat them but if I catch something else it's going in the grease. Wow, nice. The homies over at the Guggen Squad freaking hooked it up fat boys. Check all this out. I got some bandito bugs, some rattling neds, some saucy swimmers, which I'm super pumped about. Ooh, I even got some mond optics. There we go. And I got some cranks. I got the banger, the clutch. I even got a hound. Wow. Just want to say a huge shout out to the Guggen Squad boys for helping me make this video. This video is sponsored by them. And if you guys actually want to go and get some of these awesome baits right here, I will leave a link in the description below for you guys to go and check out. And if you guys use code MINDAC at checkout, I'll put it right here, MINDAC, you get 15% off your order. So anything on the website, use code MINDAC, you get 15% off. I want to save you guys some money. Sorry about the wind. So today I actually had a plan. It's, it's okay, I'm walleye fishing guys and I love my live bait for walleyes but before the sun goes down i like using plastics and i was thinking hey i want to try out these new guggen bait saucy swimmers this is the 3.3 inch goby color i believe this thing looks awesome so as you can tell it's really windy i'm sorry about that the sun is going to go down in like ah uh, three-ish hours or so i got out here a little bit early just because i was super anxious to catch some walleyes and maybe some white bass and crappies but i'm going to get everything tied up go out to the beach and see if i can smack some walleyes for you guys stay tuned for this one you're not going to miss it It actually has been probably like an hour and a half. Uh, I sat in my car because one, it's freaking cold out here and windy and I don't want to freeze my butt off. I knew these fish weren't going to bite until later in the night. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to chill, ripped on some YouTube and then finally came out here. It's about seven o'clock. We have like about a two hour window where I think is the best time to catch fish. Call it prime time. And we're just going to give her the all onion out here. I have no clue how it's going to go. I haven't been here in a long time. I was going to fish in my usual spot, which is basically just like a huge sand slash gravel flat i'm not gonna fish there for a few reasons number one the wind was absolutely ripping over there so audio would have been so bad for you guys so that that's number one two there used to be some current that actually flowed in and there's like some good current ripping like right by the gravel bed that I used to fish but now there's no current anymore like they clogged it up i don't know the state park people they came over here clogged it up there is zero current moving over there so that was one reason why i like to fish over there was mainly because of the current but since there's no more current i don't think it's going to be good i still think you can catch fish over there but i like this side more because as you can see we have a bunch of rocks right here a bunch of riprap rocks and it just extends all the way down here this is more rocky and over there it's just straight sand i thought since this water temperature is going to be pretty cold as it is the warmest water is going to be over here just because that sunlight that has been happening well it's not sunny right now but early in the day in the past few weeks or whatever whatever sun that has came down these rocks have been absorbing it and these rocks actually go out for a while and I, it just got me thinking that this could be something that these walleyes relate to the warmer rocks warmer water but that's enough talking you guys are tired of hearing me talk so we are starting off using the old saucy swimmer this thing looks freaking awesome i've never used one this is my first time we're gonna see if we can catch some walleyes again i don't expect to catch anything for a while until the sun goes down and then once the sun does go down more i will switch to live bait i have some fat heads that i'll be using but for right now we're gonna see if the saucy swimmer can get the job done it's actually beautiful over here i mean it's an overcast today so this this could get good this could get absolutely gnarly this is my first time fishing in south dakota like where i live for walleyes first cast make me proud saucy swimmer we're just gonna let that bad boy sink down the bottom there 
we're just going to do a nice little slow retrieve off the bottom. Give it some pops here and there. I got something boys oh my gosh I got something this could be a carp but it's ah, it's giving me a lot of head shakes this could be a walleye boys I'm super pumped I'm super excited on the saucy swimmer first fish ever for me on the old saucy swimmer what do we got I gotta be quiet because there's hella anglers over on the beach I don't want to give away my position please do not be a carp please be a big walleye please be a big walleye Please be a big walleye. Come on now. It's staying down there, man. Oh, it's a walleye. It's a walleye. All right, stay chill. Stay chill, John. Stay chill. We got a walleye. Oh, come on. Come on, stay chill. On the saucy swimmer. Let me grab this. All right, I'm going to be quiet. Oh, my gosh. Let's go. I knew it, boys. I knew over here would be the juice. I knew coming to the rip wraps was going to be the juice. Oh my God. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. Look at that. I don't think anybody's ever caught a walleye on the saucy swimmer. This may be the first fish catch ever on a saucy swimmer. And this guy's milking, as you can see, just a nice little male getting all that good juices on me. You absolutely love to see that, but this guy's going home for dinner. Oh my God, dude. I'm so pumped. That was like my third cast. Let's go. This is going to be a good day, dude. I'm telling you, this is, this might get dangerous, boys. On the plastics, if they're biting on plastics and not live bait, ooh. So basically, all I was doing was I, I was making casts out there, all right? I let it sink to the bottom. I was just giving a slow reel like this, and I was giving it pops like that. So a slow reel, a pop, and then like a pause or something like that. So what that is telling me is that these fish are biting on a reaction right now. I mean, it, I don't, maybe not every fish in the lake is going to be doing that, but I got that fish to bite on a reaction bite. Oh, that gets me going, boys. No way. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, I just got bit right on my feet. No. Oh, oh my goodness. I feel like a big dumb idiot. I had basically a fish on right at my feet. It bit me right at my feet. My dumb ass missed the bite. Ah, man. Always finish your guys' cast. You know, that's a good tip right there. Who's calling me? Be quiet. I'm giving tips. Always finish your cast because you never know when a fish is going to bite. Like right there. I thought I wasn't going to get bit. So I was just being careless and I got a freaking bite. God, that was so dumb of me. Yes, sir. Made it home. Got the wall head right there. Made it home, guys. I'm not frozen. I got absolutely cold out there, and I was like, all right, I'm done. I have to go home. Those fish got the best of me. It wasn't the best day of fishing, but that's what you can expect right now. It's just it's too early. I think it's too early. The water temps aren't warm enough yet. So in the next few weeks, it should be getting better and better. I was fortunate and happy and lucky enough to catch one walleye, which I will be eating. Now, normally I don't like showing you guys how I clean my walleyes, but like honestly with this whole COVID thing, like YouTube's already messed up enough. So I'm just like, screw it. I'm gonna show you guys how to clean a walleye or how I do it. I'm not like the best walleye god cleaner, you know, in the world, not by any means, but this is kind of like how I like to do it. Okie dokie. I'm just curious to see how long this guy is 17 inches just like I predicted all right so sorry for the crappy camera angle this is all I can do I don't have any cameraman but this is our walleye right here and this is how I like to clean my walleyes there is a bazillion ways you can clean it what I like to do is I take this little little fin right here and I like making a cut just like this guy right here. It's essential to have a sharp knife and this knife is pretty gosh darn sharp. So we're gonna make a cut just like that. Down right yonder and you feel his backbone right there. Once you feel his backbone, you just wanna follow the old spine just like that, flexing your knife so you're not missing any meat. You just wanna go all the way down here. Come out with the tail just like that. Boom, there's a filet right there. We're gonna flip this guy over. Make a cut just like that. Again, this makes it so much easier having a sharp knife. I've done this without sharp knives, guys. Absolutely sucks. 
flexing your knife, make sure you don't miss any meats. There we go. All right, then we're left with these guys right here. I like to take my fingernail, stick it down in the skin right here, make a little cut down, get underneath this guy right here and just start following and taking it off the skin. Just like that. Take this guy, do the exact same thing that we just did. Just gonna follow this bad boy down just like that. Shoo, look at that, boys. Mm -mm -mm. These are our fillets right here. Now these are the rib bones right there and right there. What I like to do, I'm not very good at it, but you just kind of just kind of go under here and you want to cut these bad boys out. And right here we have a lovely fillet that is boneless. There should be no bones in here. And this dog this one doesn't have that bad of a bloodline, so I don't have to fly it or anything like that. But look at that sexy looking fillet. There we go. There's our nice two fillets right there. Absolutely boneless and looking super good. All I have left to do is just take these guys in, clean them up. I am going to get the cheekbones out of here. I have like a big bag of cheek meat that I'm saving for the end of year to like do a big little fish fry. So I'm going to take those out. I'm just going to put these in a little Ziploc bag, fill it with some water, just let it soak overnight, and I'm going to cook it tomorrow. So I'll pick the camera up again when I'm refreshed and ready to fry some walleye. What up, my guy? Okay. Why are you being so shy right now? Usually you're jumping up and down for the fans, huh? Aw, look how cute you look though. You're so cute, girl. Aww. Man, you, are, you must be... Did you just like yawn at me or something? Or grown? Goodness gracious, you're kind of sleepy right now, huh? Do any of your guys' pets act like that? Drop a comment down below and let me know. It's the next morning and I, I'm awake now. I feel rejuvenated. I'm ready to put some wall in my mouth. But before we put some wally in our mouth, Dun 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 Daisy, what's that? What's in that box? Huh? What's in this box? Hey, oh jeez. Okay, bro. Boom. This box came in yesterday when I was fishing. This is another part of the order that came with the first part that I unboxed earlier in this episode. This is the second installment right here. So we're gonna open this bad boy up. I haven't even opened this yet. I, I usually, when I do unboxings, I get so excited. I just kind of like crack stuff open to see what it is. Have not even done that. So this is gonna be my first impression. I'm gonna get a knife and we're gonna see what the old Guggen boy sent me. Alrighty, folks. I'm in my PJs. Yes, please don't make fun of me. Got some skizzers right here. We're just gonna... Look at this tape they send you, though. That's some, like, pretty bougie tape, I feel like. I mean, you could just get some regular scotch tape. You don't gotta flex on us like that, guys. Let's see here. Let's open this bad boy up. Oh, wow. Holy cow. We got a lot of stuff in here. Like, Daisy. We... Whoa, look at that. Well, first off, first thing. Woo! Look at that. The multi-cam camo hat. I'm actually looking pretty ugly right now, so I'm gonna put this on. Oh gosh, yeah. Do I look like a baller now? Ooh, yes, I've been needing some of these. Ooh, look at this thing. This is the Guggen Squad Bass Mafia Bait Coffin 3700. This thing, I, was, I needed some tackle organization. As you guys may know, I'm not very organized. That's pretty tough. Oh goodness gracious. Look at that. I am gonna be one organized son of a gun with these things. I actually ordered a couple of these. I got two tackle boxes. I'm trying to make a Kevin Gates reference there, but I got some tackle boxes from the boys. What else do we got in here? Ooh, more organization stuff. These are the lighter weight bags. This is called the money bag by the Guggen Squad. There we go, I was holding it backwards. There we go, this is the money bag. Basically, you just use these to store all your plastic. So all those rattling neds, bandito bugs, mondo worms, crack and cross, all that good stuff. You can just open these up right here. There's actually another layer, so then you open it up like that. And then you put all of your plastics in there, and then you shut it, and it keeps it nice and waterproof and dry, I believe. So that is gonna be super key when I'm fishing this summer and spring. Ooh, got a few sweatshirts and shirts i believe here oh my goodness oh my goodness first off i'm seeing some shirts right here 
Bruh. This is actually like the, what is this, a clutch? Looks like a clutch or something like that. I don't know, it's a little crankbait shirt. This thing's got the drip. We got a little Guggen Squad emblem on there, as you can see. Here we go. This is the Guggen Squad, like water resistant performance pullover right here. I'm gonna actually put this on right now and look a little bit less ugly. Yeah, what's up? I got the drip now. Dang, this thing is actually really nice. I, I dig this a lot. Like even in the summer when it's gonna be like super hot, it's lightweight enough to where I can wear this and still stay warm, but not too hot. And if it rains, this is gonna be water resistant. And then you guys have seen this. If you can see that in there, just a little sweatshirt. It has like the mountain ranges and stuff like that. Actually, this is for Sam. And then I ordered another sweatshirt for me. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have so much drip on the water now. The Guggen Bait sweatshirt. That's awesome. That is all we have for today's unboxing. Again, if you guys want to check out any of this stuff or any of the baits that I was using today, I will leave a link in the description for you guys to go and check out. Again, if you use my code MINDAC at checkout, you can save 15% off on all of this stuff, guys. Literally, all of this stuff. If you use my code, I can save you some money. All right, Daisy, we got all the drip right there. Now it is time to make some walleyes, I think. So I actually, oh, first off, look at this man's right here. Oh, oh guys, please roast him in the comments. Please come up with some like meme captions for these pictures, that is hilarious. All right, we open up the fridge here and, oh, what do we have here? What is in here, Daisy, huh? Right here, we have that, oh, look how white that meat turned out, dude. I mean, honestly, I probably didn't even need to soak it in water, but I did just in case. That meat is looking like some chicken. I did end up cleaning those fish, as you guys saw, and now I'm gonna make these fish, because it is 2.07 p.m. We're going for a little bit of a, like a lunner. It's kind of like in between lunch and dinner, so you call that lunner. We're gonna make a little bit of lunner. My dad is actually home, uh, working from home, teleworking because of the whole coronavirus thing, and I decided, hey, I'm gonna make him a lunch lunner. I'm gonna surprise him with it. So I think today I'm gonna make a walleye sandwich. All right, so let me just get this all set up and I'm gonna start cooking. All right, so for seasonings today, we're gonna be using the Progresso breadcrumbs, Italian style, just because I have a big thing of shore lunch, but I don't wanna open that right now just because I have one fish, as you guys can see. Mom, where's the Ziplocs? The Ziplocs, mom! Where's the Ziplocs? I'm just doing it for video, it's funny. All right, we have these little guys right here. That's gonna have to do. So we're gonna open up our breadcrumbs. <laughs> we're just gonna dump. Yeah, uh, yeah, oh, uh, well, all right, we'll just give her hell. We got our bag of breadcrumbs right here, and we're just gonna take little fillets like this, stick them in there, just like that. Just like you're dropping your kids off at the pool in the summer, we're dropping our meat off in the breadcrumbs. Give her hell, Rick. Just give a little shake and bake action right there, boys. That's your finished product. And I mean, I mean, it's it's enough breading, but it's not like a super good amount, but like just for having water on it, I would say it's stuck pretty good. You know what, we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with it. It's gonna be a little bit healthier, I promise. All right, we got the grease going right here. It's good to go. We're gonna start laying our fish in there. First one, coming in hot. There we go. Well, homies, not gonna lie, the, the heat kinda got a little bit too hot to begin with, and that's one tip. Never have too hot of oil, I did, and they got a little bit burnt, but these still are gonna taste super, super delicioso. Over here, we have the sandwich ingredients in which we are going to use. So, the process that we're gonna do here is we're gonna toast these guys right here. Put them in the toaster, blah, 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 blah. Take them out, spread the hell maize on it, the olive oil mayonnaise, then we're gonna put the walleye on. After the walleye is on, we're gonna put the lettuce, then the tomatoes on, and then the cheese on top. That's what we're gonna do. And then that should be the ultimate walleye sandwich. Hey! How's it going? What you doing? I made you lunch. Oh, not for Wa you. Yeah, not for dog. you, little dog. Walleye sandwich. 
You gotta let me know how it is and let the, the, the folks know if I did a good job. I'm just ready to eat this thing right now. But first, I'm gonna get a knife. Oh, you're gonna cut it in half? I'm gonna cut this thing in half. That's smart. I know, I explained to them that you're teleworking and that you needed a good lunch, so I made you a lunch. Teleworking at the good lunch here. Clean that knife up here. We'll cut this baby right across there. Oh, it's got tomato in it. Oh yeah, the whole works. Mmm. Mmm. So does that mean it's good? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you John's ultimate walleye fish sandwich why did i say fish in there anyways this is the finished product right here we got pepper jack cheese is our cheese lettuce tomato mayo and of course walleye this is gonna be amazing i'm just about to dig into this first bite here we go boys mm. wow that is a slapper and a half mine's really good i hope like that was really good really good wow the tomatoes make it i think the tomatoes do make it yeah. my dad's saying that the tomatoes kind of makes it brings it all together and i would agree the tomatoes kind of makes it more juicy and brings out more flavor and i didn't so i don't know if i show this on camera or not but after my fish was done frying i sprinkled a little bit of salt on top to dust it the seasoning after cooking that's huge major key major major key so actually all right why do, I, why do I own a cute dog? I don't know. All right, pupper. Hey, it's because I love you. Well, what do you think, my guy? Okay. I, I think that means Daisy enjoys it, but I'm going to finish eating my sandwich, and then I'll wrap this video up in just a second. What in tar freaking nation why 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 there's freaking snow again and there's wind how am i supposed to go truck camping i mean i can still go truck camping i'm just being a little bit dramatic but still i mean come on man i legit had to come inside because it was so windy and cold outside it is april and there is snow we just got snow last night i woke up looked outside it went rip Last night, went out, did some walleye fishing for the first time in the Brookings area with my waders. I love catching walleyes and waders, and yesterday was the first time I went out and did it, and I actually got lucky enough to catch one, which I was really fortunate about. Again, I think it's a little bit too early. I think within like two weeks or so, the walleye should really start popping off. Drop some comments down below on what kind of walleye videos you guys want to see. I know we just posted two back-to-back -back catching cooks, but I mean, hey, if you catch a walleye, you got to throw it in the grease. We're going to have some banger videos coming out here really soon. I actually just got a new toy. I'm I'll tease it. All right, boys, we just got a new toy, and I'm going to give you a quick little sneak peek. That's all you guys get. Oh, that's it. So you could say the vlogs are going to be lit here really, really soon. Got a cool new toy, which eh, we'll save that for another video. But that is where we're going to end today's video. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your quarantine life to watch this video. We'll see you guys next time.